Srila Rupa Goswami explains in his Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu that whatever is the best thing you have, that which is most dear to your heart, most precious and priceless, you should give that to Krishna. Never think that what you give to Krishna you will be any less, but you will gain hundreds, millions of times over. Because as we approach Krishna, he rewards us accordingly. Yaya tam amta padyante tam stathai vabhajanyam mama vartmana bharatante manusha bharata saradasha What is it that is ours? The great illusion of this world, janasya moho namaham mameti, is that we can be the proprietor of anything. Bhoktaram jagatapasam sarava lokalahesha Everything is the property of Krishna. And the supreme sacrifice is to simply recognize this fact. Real renunciation means to understand clearly that factually we have nothing to renounce. Like taking water from the Ganges and offering it back to the Ganges. Really, what is it that we are giving her? We are simply taking what is hers and offering it to her? But because we are willing to make this gesture with feeling and devotion, Mother Gandhi's is most pleased. Similarly, everything is meant for the pleasure of Krishna. Krishna has created all the materials and spiritual worlds simply for his own pleasure. And he has created us. He has created the Jivatma simply for his own pleasure. We have no other purpose, we have no other function than giving pleasure to Krishna. But just as when the spark separates itself from the fire and tries to burn independent of the fire, it soon goes out. It loses all of its luster. But as long as that spark remains within the fire, it is shining and brilliant. In a similar way, when the Jivatma becomes perverted by misusing his own independence, we think that we can enjoy it separate from Krishna. We think that we have some identity that is separate from Krishna. But the fact is, we are Mamaya Bamso, Jiva Loka. We are eternally part of Krishna and eternally in the past, present and future. We are simply meant by our constitutional nature to be enjoyed by Krishna. In fact, everything that exists in all spiritual and material worlds is simply meant for the enjoyment of Krishna. And there is only one suffering in all of existence, and that is the consciousness that separates anything or anyone from wanting to be enjoyed by Krishna. So Krishna, what do you want? This is actually the meaning of surrender. When Krishna says, Sarava dharaman purityajya mam ekam sadanam braja, he says, abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender to me. What is the surrender? It means accept your eternal constitutional nature. You are meant for my pleasure alone. You have no separate existence. Your independence is only meant to give satisfaction to me. Nothing else. But due to illusion, we are thinking we are the enjoyers. Let me have wife. Let me have family. Let me enjoy the pleasures. Let me enjoy the prestige. Let me be the proprietor. This is my wife. How I can enjoy with her. This is my husband. How I am enjoying so much with him. And then this is my children. And this is my home. And this is my household appliances. And these are my servants. And this is my property. And this is my position in, in, in society. In this way, the illusion that we are the enjoyer, that we are the controller, that we are the proprietor, just expands more and more and more and more. And we become completely infatuated and intoxicated. And thus we fall completely in this condition. But nothing is ours. This is an artificial condition. It is disease. In fact, whatever we have is Krishna's.
you were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.